Hey there, it's Jen Fax with YourColorStyle.com and welcome to another color analysis case study. In this video, I'm going to be looking at a photo submission that was submitted to me through my Ask Jen page and I'm going to talk through my process and help identify the best color palette for this individual based on the photos that have been submitted to me. If you're interested in submitting your photo, there will be a link in the description of this video. You can go there and follow the instructions on how to do so. So let's take a look at this month's submission. All right, so this is the photo that was submitted to me. I think it's pretty good. I don't really have uh, an impression that I need to adjust it in any way. Sometimes photos come to me a little yellow or green or red. I think this, this seems pretty balanced as far as the photo goes. She mentions that she was once, when she was younger, color analyzed as a winter, but those colors don't feel right on her now. And this is actually a very common thing. Uh, you know, 20 some years ago or 30 years ago, when we're you know younger and we have our colors done, we have a different level of coloring about us and the colors that are analyze for us are, are supposed to be our best, most flattering colors are, are, might be different when we're younger than as we get older. Not always, but it happens a lot, especially as our hair starts to change in gray and our pigment changes over time. It is possible that a color palette that worked well on you 10, 15, 20 years ago may not feel right at currently. And so we want to know what colors feel good and look good now, not 20 some years ago. And it's really easy to hold on to that, but it's also perfectly okay to let go of it because who you are now is so much more important than than who you were 20 years ago, right? Your tastes have changed, your, your coloring might have changed. And so let's find out what colors are working for you at this moment. So for her, let me unpack a little bit what a winter means in the terms of your color style. Your, a winter is someone that has cool undertones, wears brighter colors best, and often looks really good in bright jewel tones. That's a very generic summary, but it is that is what a winter is. And in the Your Color Style system, that would be the bright and cool palette. Now, I it's hard to say whether it's light, medium, or deep, at this point, um, by looking at her, if she was if she was analyzed as a winter, I'm going to assume that she was probably bright, cool, and deep because of the because it looks like she used to have really, really dark hair. It's now softened with a lot of gray, and so it's not as a deep feel as uh, someone that, that would be considered bright, cool, and deep. Bright, cool, and deep color palette also is a very harsh color palette if you don't fit into that category, that color type. It's a very vibrant, very intense uh, color palette, high contrast, lots of bright jewel tones. And so it's not harsh on someone who, who is bright, cool, and deep, but it can definitely feel powerful and overpowering on someone who's not bright, cool, and deep. And I feel like that might be what's happening, where once upon a time, those bright jewel tones and high contrast uh, patterns probably felt great on her when she was a bit younger. But now that she's softening a bit, it's starting to feel a little bit too much. So I did some of my own color studies. Let me share with you. On the left is soft and cool, and on the right is bright and cool. And I just left the shirt that she originally gave me because it's kind of a soft and cool pattern and color. And uh, so I just gave her lips a soft and cool uh, lip. And I and she looks lovely. It looks just right. So it's interesting how we intuitively go towards some of the colors that we, we feel good in and we know that are in harmony with us, even if we don't know why, right? On the right is bright and cool where she's got some, I put on a bright kind of a um, magenta and a brighter lip. Now that definitely feels overpowering to me. I don't actually think it looks bad. Um, I, it's definitely overpowering. The lips look a little bit too painted, but it's not that she can't wear brighter colors. And I'm starting to see now what her struggle might be, but I'll, I'll touch on that in just a minute. First, let me just show you what she looks like in the warm colors so that you don't, so you can see. 
soft and warm on the left and bright and warm on the right, I don't really feel that these colors flatter her as much as the cooler colors do. Now, what is interesting is that she has a little bit of brown in her eyes. So her eyes are kind of like this, like this dark, cool brown. I also think that that's what causes her a little bit of confusion and what looks best because she has a little bit of warmth in her eyes. But they're very cool eyes. I see a lot of navy blue almost in her eyes and not a really golden brown. I think it's also why the color on the left, the shirt color, not necessarily the lip color, actually looks quite nice on her because it's picking up the brown in her eyes. If you've got colors in you naturally, those colors are going to be in harmony with you, even if it's not textbook part of your color palette. Okay, because you have your own uniqueness about you that might break the rules a little bit. In this case, I feel like the brown actually breaks a little bit of that rule. I don't think that she has warm undertones. I don't think that she would be wearing the a, a warm color palette. But because she has some brown in her eyes, I think that she could probably pull off the top. But I don't really love the warm tones on her as far as lip and just as a general rule. Like on the right, although I kind of like the brightness a little bit on her, I don't love the warmth. Okay, so my, my gut is that she has cool undertones. And so really we're at, is she soft or bright? And where, where, where in soft, where in one of those is she? So I took some colors that I feel that only bright, cool, and deep can wear really well. And um, that usually helps me determine if someone is more soft than bright. Because as I said, the bright, cool, and deep color palette is a really intense color palette. Now, the reason I'm saying deep is because she has a lot of deep tones in her. She has a lot of almost black mixed in with that gray and those really dark eyes. So she definitely needs, in my opinion, a cool and deep color palette. Again, it's, is it bright or is it soft? So on the right, we have a bright yellow. Now I know that on screen, it's going to feel really bright versus maybe in, in person. But I wanted to drive a point home that someone who wears bright, cool, and deep really well, this would be very flattering, very in harmony. And although you'd see the color, you'd see the person in that color. Where for her here, it's really, really intense. And I don't, I think it overpowers her. And on the left is the same color, but it's softened. Um, a soft yellow turns into almost an olive green, which I know is strange, but is true. And it's so it's a considered, it's not considered a cool color, but it is a color in the soft and cool color palette. And I think she looks a lot more in harmony with this color. And I added a little bit of brightness to her lips. So if you notice, this is the original soft and cool lip that I gave her, which is a very obvious soft muted color because I want to see what she looks like. And I think that she looks nice, but I think it's almost too soft. I think that she's right there kind of in between where we're going to notice that the soft, cool, deep colors are going to flatter her best and are going to be most in harmony, but she's still going to need a little bit of the brightness. She just didn't walk away from bright and cool. She's changing over time and she's softening, but she, it's not just one day you're one thing. It, it's an it's a evolution, right? We're always changing. And so she's kind of in a blend right now. She's right in between. So I think that for every day, soft and cool is going to be lovely, but I would encourage her to not just give up on the jewel tones and the brightness. I would bring it in in smaller doses. So instead of wearing, you know, a, a one big bright top, maybe it's a top that has some bright colors popped in there in a mix of a pattern. Maybe it's just a little bit of brightness on the lip. Not maybe, maybe it's not a super bright lip, but it's not super muted either. A little bit of brightness, you know, maybe it's in the sh in the jewelry. I think that she could still wear shiny jewelry and and that and some gem and some gemstones, right? That can add a little bit of sparkle to what she's wearing and really make a huge difference. So even if she chose the coloring on the left with the with a muted lip, adding in some sparkly. Uh, earrings or a necklace can just really lighten her up just enough that she needs. Here's one more example that I did, and this kind of drove it home for me. Bright and Cool is on the right, and that bright, beautiful, royal blue, uh, it would look perfect on someone that's bright, cool, and deep. 
And for her, she looks really pretty in blue, but it feels really, really bright and strong on her. And over on the left, I muted it and deepened it some, and it picks up the navy blue in her eyes. And it's just, wow, I just love her in this muted, deep, cool color that tells me that for her everyday color palette, she's going to be soft, cool, and deep, but I still encourage a little bit of brightness added in, in her lips, in her jewelry, or maybe even little pops in her pattern on, on the clothes that she wears. So I hope that that helps. If you have a question for me that you want answered in a future video, please visit yourcolorstyle.com slash askjen and there'll be instructions there on how to submit your question to me. I'm Jen Vax, and thanks for watching.